Hello BirdBot community! Today I'll be running through a tutorial on how to install BirdBot via GitHub. Uh, BirdBot is now in public alpha, which means that you'll be able to connect an Algorand wallet, also name your camera if you want to use your local hardware, um, and this will allow BirdBot to pay you birds tokens. So um, for those of you that want to run your camera at home and earn birds tokens, uh, you can do that now. Uh, in the future, this will require a license uh, via an NFT, but right now, since we're in alpha, uh, this is going to be free. Um, in the future, we are also selling a camera, which will allow you to have a perpetual license that will last for the whole 30 years of phase one of our token roadmap. Um, but since we're, like I said, since we're in alpha, uh, and if you want to play around with the software, uh, you can now uh, run a camera with your local computer hardware and camera, web, like a webcam or a DSLR, um, and you can start earning birds tokens at home. Currently, we support around 50 bird species, but we're looking to get that up to around 200 or 300 species by the end of the year. And then by next year, we'll have thousands of species added to the machine learning model. Um, with that all being said, uh, I will jump into the tutorial, which will last about, I don't know, five minutes. It really doesn't take that long to install the software, so let's get started. Um, to start, um, to get to our GitHub, probably the easiest thing to do is go to um, bird.bot. And now that you're a bird bot, um, come up to our uh, little widgets section and then go to birdbot github which will take you directly to our um, github that allows you to install birdbot on windows uh, we will be opening up the hardware to mac and edge devices relatively soon uh, we are making our own edge device so uh, that should be uh, coming soon so currently we support windows um, and all you got to do is connect a webcam or a DSL DSLR to your uh, computer and it should easily run uh, the software. So to get started, all you got to do is come down here and download and install Miniconda, which is a Python environment um, package. You really don't have to use this uh, much, but you do have to use it currently to run the software. So you just click that and it'll start installing Miniconda. Uh, once when Miniconda is installed, you just run it uh, and it should install within like 30 seconds. It's just common EXE. I'll just open it up really quickly for you. But since I already have Miniconda installed, I don't have to do this. Um, you would just click agree and it's uh, made by Anaconda, which is a very, very well known um, Python uh, company uh, that develops uh, software to uh, easily install Python environments and create Python environments. Uh, not very important, but you need it to run the software. So once when you have Miniconda installed, you're gonna want to download BirdBot and place it on your desktop. So just click this, um, which will uh, tell GitHub that you wanna download the zip file for BirdBot. Um, this should take, I don't know, um, maybe uh, depending on while well, it's done on mine, it, it should it should take you like ten seconds to a minute, depending on how fast your internet speed is. Uh, it takes me about ten seconds, uh, and then you just drop that on your desktop. And you actually want to extract your files here, so we're just going to extract our files, and then you you have a, a little BirdBot Windows uh, main folder. And then you can delete the zip folder. Um, and then inside here, you have all the things that you need to run BirdBot. So now that we have that folder on our desktop, we just come back to our, um, our GitHub and we start this process. So to start the process, all you gotta do is open up Miniconda. So let's just go to our little search, type in Mini. Boom, Miniconda opens up. And here we are. Now we're in a little Python environment. So that's nice. Um, and to get started, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this. Uh, so you don't have to know any code to get BirdBot loaded up. Uh, you're going to want to copy Conda Create BirdBot Python uh, 3.8. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to create a Conda environment 
uh, called BirdBot, and it's going to be installed with Python 3.8. Uh, this should take, I don't know, a couple minutes. Uh, probably not even that long. Uh, so I'll just take a nice little sip of coffee. And what it's going to do is it's going to in start installing all of the environments to uh, run Python 3.8. Um, there's a couple of packages that you need, like Cython and other types of like scikit and pip and you know setup tools and sql light and stuff like that so you just gotta type yes and click enter it's gonna install wheel and you know certificate programs and uh not super important it's just very very common stuff to that you need to you know run a python environment so uh anaconda kind of just packages that up all nicely for you uh and then now it's installing it and we have done it so it says if well when it's successful which it will be uh all you got to do now is copy this so conda activate bird bot and what this is going to do it's going to jump you into that python environment and you can see that your base environment changes to bird bot which is awesome so what you now need to do is you got you got to navigate to bird bot uh your bird bot folder on your desktop so it's a little bit complex but not super complex so what i did was i typed in dir and that just allowed me to search all the folders that i'm currently in and you can see that there's a desktop folder right here um so what you're going to want to do is you want to go to do go cd which is current directory into desktop and then you just click tab after you're typing desk and then that will just finish desktop for you and then you click desktop and then you can click, you can type dir again, and you can see all the dir directories. And you can see that there's birdbot windows main right here. And I wanna jump into that directory because that's our birdbot directory. Uh, and now I'm inside birdbot. So now I'm inside my Python environment, which is birdbot. And now I'm inside my software environment, my, my software folder, which is birdbot windows main, which I literally just dropped onto the desktop right here, right? And now I'm accessing that inside of my Python environment. So uh, we're almost there and we almost can, we can pretty much run uh, BirdBot right now, but it wouldn't totally work because so, what we've got to do is we've got to install the CUDA toolkit. So Conda install CUDA, CUDA toolkit, which is a, uh, it's, it makes it so you can run, it, it makes it so your Python environment can access your GPU, very important for machine learning models. And then what you're going to want to do is pip install uh, and it's going to read the requirements folder and I will actually show you what the requirements folder is just for those of you who do have programming knowledge. You're going to be like, oh, well, what is inside your requirements folder? Like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so we'll just get that out of the way uh, inside the requirements folder. Uh, so some of the packages that we're installing are very, very basic packages to run the machine learning so software and architecture that we have. So you can see that we got TensorFlow. We actually don't need TensorFlow GPU. So then Python OpenCV is just for reading the camera, uh, TQDM. Uh, you know, I'm honestly not totally sure what that does, but pa pandas is an array array architecture package geocoder geolocation thing um pyqt5 is the gui package um keyboard will allow me to know when you press q to disable the video if you're running the software um twitch io communicates with twitch if you have that set up and then aws cli uh that is aws so amazon web services yeah 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 TK is Tkinter, um, which allows us to run more GUI stuff, graphical user interface stuff. Emoji, probably graphical user interface stuff. Um, and then Python VLC allows me to access VLC if I want to do any IP stuff. And then PyTesseract is a machine learning thing. And then Python decouple, also probably a machine learning thing. So uh, nothing really fishy here. Um, just, you know, pretty much regular requirements folders, uh, requirements. So uh, once when you're good with installing, you know, any of those packages, we just go pip install, read the requirements file, 
And then what that will do is it will install anything in the requirements file that is inside that text folder, which I just showed. Um, so no biggie there. It's gonna do all that stuff. It's gonna start installing the packages. It just got NumPy, it got SciPy. It's starting to install TensorFlow, which is great because TensorFlow is the machine learning architecture uh, software that we use to build everything and you kind of need it. Um, so now that that's doing its thing, uh, once when it's done, we are done. Hey, and there we go. It successfully installed everything. Um, so now all we got to do is run BirdBot. So we can just come back to the GU, the GitHub, and we can copy that, and we can do Python run BirdBot. Well, Python BirdBot ML. Uh, dot py and if you installed uh the gpu uh the cuda cuda toolkit properly it'll say successfully opened all the dynamic libraries um and it did it successfully opened all the dynamic libraries and then ta-da we got birdbot software alpha machine learning software please use buttons so yeah you can replace uh your algorand wallet uh right here and once when you click real time mode, it'll save your Algorand wallet to uh, the essentially it'll keep it and it'll it'll remember it later. So if you want to open up the software um, and run it um, and you want to rename this to like Tyler desktop cam, it'll it'll also remember that. So we got like a little concept of local memory going on, which is good. Um, and then essentially when you click real time, uh, when you click this real time button, it'll access whatever camera is connected to your computer. Um, and then it'll start looking for, uh, it'll just, you know, ha it'll have the camera running like it, any other camera, but it'll, anytime that a bird uh, appears on the screen, it'll, uh, start to put a bounding box over it. And if it's on the screen for long enough, uh, you'll get paid birds tokens. So yeah have fun with it um please let me know if there's any issues uh the main idea is that uh you can run if if you don't want to replace the algorand wallet and you still want to run the software just keep keep whatever uh keep the wallet and the name that's up there to begin with and just you know click real time mode you don't have to worry about it uh this is the bird bot test wallet and whatever name you put here doesn't matter um, it's just fun to, you know, if you want to look at the database later and, you know, look at your camera name, you can find your camera name. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, it should take you around five to 10 minutes. Uh, if you follow, uh, these instructions, you know, to the T, uh, the main thing is that you got to install mini conda. You got to place your bird bot folder on the desktop. Uh, you got to navigate to the bird bot folder. Uh, I'll add like step in, in between three and uh, for I'll add a step to navigate to your folder on the desktop, um, which just comprises of, you know, CD desktop. Um, and that should get you there. Um, and then you got to install the requirement packages. And then once when you have the requirement package installed, all the required packages, uh, all you got to do is uh, type birdbot, uh, Python birdbot ML, and it'll uh, run this software for you. Um, and if you just want to stop the software, all you got to do is click the little X and uh, it'll close it out for you. Um, and then if you ever want to run the software again, uh, I can just show you that really, really quick. So you just close out of Miniconda and then you just open back up Miniconda. And then since you've already, uh, since you've already installed uh, BirdBot once, all you got to do is Conda activate BirdBot to activate birdbot and then you got a cd to the desktop yeah cd desktop and then you go to birdbot and then you go python birdbot ml and then it'll just run it for you and ta-da nice so there you go oh yeah i almost forgot so the real-time mode is really really cool because it'll allow you to access the you know, camera locally uh, that's on your computer. But if you do want to access, um, you know, just process a video using BirdBot software and you just want to like draw the bounding boxes on a bird video, 
you can click bird bot uh you can click on the bird bot software and you can click process video which will open up you know where it'll just open up a file dialog menu and since i do this a lot i have a ton of you know uh things i can pull from so i can just be like oh i want to access you know a golden crown sparrow video so i just do that and ta-da there's a golden crown sparrow video um and let's see if it'll do it yeah cool it, it's running it knows that it's a golden crown sparrow so super cool um so yeah if you ever want to test out the birdbot software and have it run on a video locally you can also do that so uh, have fun and enjoy thank you